Hey everybody, this is Prowl and welcome to the Keeping It Simple series where we are going to be doing a lot of different things. I normally don't do buildings, but I think this one's going to be pretty special. Nice simple house for you guys to build and I hope to do more of these types of builds as well. If you do happen to enjoy this house tutorial, definitely leave me a like, subscribe and most importantly, leave me some comments down below because I'd kind of like to know what you guys think about this and I'd like to do more, not just the simple one off builds like the house that we have right here, but actually building multiple of them and other structures here in this world as part of a, a bigger world rather than just a single house tutorial tutorial but they all will be in tutorial fashion so we're actually going to jump into this one now block for block let's go ahead and let's have some fun in getting your starter house built and here are a bulk of the materials you're going to need we're going to need oak and a few different varieties get yourself plenty of oak a little bit of spruce you're going to need a fair amount of stone a little bit of cobblestone as well uh, get yourself some andesite this will mainly be for detailing uh, you'll need a fair amount of spruce not spruce um, birch logs for the flooring uh, your main block here is going to be white terracotta although if white terracotta is not easy for you to find in your world this birch will be a okay substitute for you and here is your layout here bottom of the screen is the front of the building the top of the screen is the back of the building the red and blue is the outline of the building itself with the little green and white area at the top being the porch area in the back. So go ahead and copy this down into your world block for block. That way we can go ahead and get this thing started. First step today is to lay out the foundation. We're going to start right here to the left of the uh, little front entryway here. We'll put a stair. We'll put cobblestone block and we'll put stairs going all the way across like this and connect it over cobblestone block right here. Continue the stairs all the way down just like this till you get to the corner put another cobblestone block do a stair right here and uh, Go ahead and skip that area for now put a stair right here cobblestone block run stairs all the way across just like this Put a cobblestone block right there same as we did the other side and do stairs all the way back across and wrap into right here next we're going to go ahead and lay out our little front porch area we're going to put a polished andesite stair here polished andesite stair here we'll go ahead and put polished andesite half slabs right there and stone half slabs right here uh, this will actually end up being our entryway in right there actually make those full stone blocks right there not half slabs and as you come back to the back side you will go ahead and put an andesite stair right here an andesite stair right here Go ahead and put your polished andesite all the way around the border of your porch area just like that and get yourself some solid stone blocks and throw those guys down just like this to cover the rest of this area which will end up being our entryway into the back of the house from the back porch. Now it's time to get down a bulk of the foundations of this thing. Go ahead and get your oak logs and let's go up one, two, three, four on these two corners right here. And then on these ones where you put the solid blocks, the solid cobblestone blocks, let's go up seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on all four of these solid cobblestone blocks. Four, five, six, seven, seven, seven. Yes. Now once you have all four of those seven tall blocks put in, we're going to go ahead and set up some cross beams here. So we're going to go ahead and connect these guys straight across just like this. We're going to bring this one straight across all the way till we get to this point right here. Same thing for this guy right there. Bring it across like that and bring this across like this. Actually, don't bring it all the way across. You can delete out those three middle ones. You'll have three coming out this way, three coming out this way. The rest of that's going to be hidden, which you'll see here in just a little bit. And also, you can put a temporary block there. Go up one, two, three. Up one, two, three three do the same thing here these are on the back side one two three back side one two three take out the temporary block one two three take out the temporary block and then one two three take that out right there and then this top one right here you can go ahead and connect this across just like that now that we have the frame of the house in, we're gonna start filling in this white terracotta to give this house our exterior look as well as actually fill in a little bit of depth. We're gonna start out with this front area right here and we're just gonna actually go ahead and just frame all of this in, oops, just like this. That way we kind of have a little box area to work with. 
So you'll see we have this right here. Go ahead and fill all of those in all the way through. So now you should have this right here. We can go ahead and just pop out our front door right here and we could pop out, bam, bam, our little side windows that we're gonna end up putting in a little bit later as well. Um, this part right here, you can go ahead and actually bring this all the way up just like so. And then once we get up to the top here at this little framed piece, we're actually gonna inset it one just like this. That way we're gonna give ourselves a little bit of depth that we wouldn't otherwise have. Depth is one of the best things that's gonna make a build look good. This last thing you want is your build to look flat. And you can see that is inset in there and it looks rather nice being inset like that. It looks a little bit different. And then same thing for this top section. We'll just go ahead since we're up here and we're gonna frame all this in just like this and bring this across too. And then these are actually going to go three high just like that right there so go ahead and fill in all the way across here three blocks high so now in the back portion of the house you should have the top filled in just like that right above all of your beams on these three sides and this side right here it is inset by one now for this area down here we're just going to bring our white terracotta across and bring it to just where that step is for our outside border and we're going to bring this all the way through and then very simply, just like we've already done, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill this all the way up to the top, just like, whoop, just like that right there. Now that we have all of the body of our house filled in, I think it's time that we put on the roof. It'll start make this thing looking a lot more like a house. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with a base layer of stone bricks, just like this right here. Uh, building this guy up, let's bring this over, let's bring this over, and then we're gonna bring those up like that. And then we're going to get this base layer built up. What am I doing? This base layer built up first. And then what we'll do is we'll come in afterwards and we'll throw in a little bit of detailing. And once you got that in, we can go ahead and throw on the cap right here, which will bring andesite directly across just like this right here. Uh, we are going to throw in a second right there to make that a full block. We will do an upside down andesite block just like that. Then we will put a half slab on top of that. And that is going to be our little front center piece. I think it looks rather nice. Now this top roof section is a little bit more difficult, so we're going to actually, we're going to add in these pieces first, our, our base block pieces for the building. So I'm going to go over to like this, or we're going to fill that whole top row. You're going to go over to, you're going to fill in all the way through here like this. So we got a two block gap there and there, and we're going to go another two block gap and fill in those three right there. We're going to do the same thing on the back side. Okay, now our back and our front mirror each other. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take a cobblestone, not a cobblestone, a stone brick stair and put it there, put it there, put it there. Same thing on this side at those ridges just like that. We're gonna take a stone brick slab, put one there, 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 and there. And then we're gonna put andesite slabs up here at the very top just like this. We're gonna actually bring all of these out one like so and then we're gonna bring it all the way down there there and we're gonna bring that all the way down to this side and have it also overhang one over right there And just to round off the front and the back side here, we're gonna take some slabs and we're gonna just throw them right there at those kind of weird transition points just to smooth that out a little bit. And I'd recommend just run ahead to the back side and do the same thing. Pretty simple, just throw it at those transition points to kind of round those off. Actually, these ones right here, we throw those up like that. Back here, we do not have that to do. Also, get your white terracotta. You need to fill in this area as well. Go ahead and inset this in just like so. And that will give us, again, just a little bit of added depth to the build that we didn't have before. 
All right, it's time to punch some holes in this thing. We need to get some windows in the build. So we're gonna go ahead and punch a window here and here. And I'm gonna use white stained glass for all the windows. White stained glass is really easy to get. And it just adds a little bit extra dimension to it that you don't get from using clear stained glass. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put a one block gap there between the bottom and the side and throw in a four wide window there. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and skip two blocks and do the same thing right here, just like so. Then over here on the right hand side of the building, we're gonna come over, we're gonna skip one, two, we're gonna break out one, two, three sets of windows. This will not be centered on the wall, that is by design. Um, you'll see the reason why a little bit later in the tutorial, uh, then we shall, there's nothing up top there. We're gonna come over here, and actually we're gonna mirror these windows up. We're gonna do a four, just like that, a four, just like that. And we need some kind of block right here above it. So go ahead and oops, throw in your white terracotta across here just to give your windows some kind of border to latch on to. And then fill in your glass on that guy and that guy right there. Now, all of our windows are looking pretty flat right now. So we're going to liven up the surfaces of our house just to add more depth, more detail and make the building look more interesting. So by the front door, we're gonna just run some uh, oak fences up just like this. Uh, we should have, I do not have it right now. Uh, there it is, our oak slab. We're gonna take this guy, we're gonna throw one below each of these windows, and then one all the way right below that ba that like banister, or not banister, I guess that support beam that's right there. Um, also, uh, we'll throw flowers in there later. We're gonna put flower pots on those guys right there. We're not gonna do that on all of them though. Uh, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna throw in two guys right here we're actually going to decorate these by putting some shutters on just like this and then we shall also add actually let me get spruce ones instead of oak just so we get a little bit different color here i was going to use oak i'm going to go spruce but this these guys right here just like that, that looks good and also just to break this up as well we could go ahead and take these trap doors spruce trap doors break those across and again, it just kind of gives us a little bit more depth and makes things look a little bit less flat. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do that on the same on the same thing on this side right here. And over here, we're actually going to change things up and do things even a little bit more different. So we're going to add in some depth to the, depth to the windows first, kind of like we did before. We'll add in some windowsills right there outside of the windows. Uh, we shall add in our shutters, the same as before. Go ahead and get them on all the windows, just like this. <clears throat> We're gonna do the same thing with these spruce fences. Just to add a little bit more decoration. But then we're also above these, we're gonna throw in some spruce trap doors. It's gonna give us even more depth to these guys. Now we got a big empty wall space right there and we could leave it that way. It would be okay, it would look all right. But let's make it a little bit more interesting. Let's throw in a stair here, a stair here, and let's throw in two stairs right here in the middle, just like this. Now go ahead and grab your slabs. Let's throw a slab down at the bottom right here. And let's go down one and up one, same thing. Up one, down one, up one. Now we have ourselves a neat little design just to make that wall a little bit more interesting. We're gonna do similar things here. We're gonna go ahead and put our slab, 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 slab. This guy, we're gonna break it up again and we shall do flower pots here instead of doing the extra designs around the windows just to switch things up a little bit. It doesn't need to look the same all the time. Also, instead of shutters here, instead let's throw in some fences. Just go all the way up in the corners right here. And then we can add in our uh, little uh, spruce trap doors at the top here. And then actually, we could leave this here, but I guess just to, just to get rid of some of this white terracotta look, let's go ahead and throw that in. I think that makes the wall look pretty interesting as well. And then what we can do is we can come over to this side right here. I think this side, we're gonna copy kind of what we did over there. We'll do trap doors right here. We'll do fence gates right here, just like this. And we can do our shutters shutters and then let's do our spruce trap doors across here just like that also just to add our depth back in here again just like we did before in that other area let's go ahead and throw these guys up there just like that 
and I think I think that's looking pretty good at the bottom we do need a little something at the top as well really overall it's looking kind of flat back here so let's pop this guy out let's put a stair right there I think that gives us a little bit of depth let's knock this guy out and put a stair here knock that guy out put a stair there that frames the wall a little bit better also it'd be nice to have some connectors here and here just to smooth that out a little bit and while we're at it let's do that other side as well perfect i'll smooth that out a lot and then up here maybe we'll just do the same thing we did over there we'll go stair 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 like this and then whoop, those need to be the other way like that and then we'll bring our oak slab and we'll do that diagonal deal again we'll go stair 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 or not stair slab 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 now we got ourselves a little design there as well again it just kind of breaks up the house a little bit and makes that look a little bit more interesting a little bit less dull now we need to work on the back side here this back area we definitely need to make a little bit more interesting so where we threw in these slabs back here before uh, we got a slab here 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 and i actually just threw that in a second ago we're going to take stairs we're going to upside down stairs in all of these flat areas just like this and then i think if we put a stair right there like that it'll give us a little bit different look than we have elsewhere also i think what we did in the front area hold on remember what we did up here we grab a andesite slab and let me grab a andesite stair we're gonna do the same thing on these two so let's go ahead and throw in another andesite slab andesite stair andesite slab andesite slab just like that we'll do the same thing over here slab there slab slab just like that and also to give us a little bit better line on this roof let's go like this skip one skip one yeah just like that right there i think that looks magnificent it looks really good now moving back over to here we need a little something here so let's carve out a window right about here we'll make it a nice size we'll make it a three by three we'll do our same deal where we throw in our shutters shutter 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 got a glass which we can whoops which we can put around this guy like this again we're sticking with the white white stained glass just like that uh, we can throw in our little windowsill area right here in the front like so what if here where's the grab these guys real quick how about here so this is a kind of big window let's throw these only at the top like that and then we'll throw in our trap doors and that gives a really nice look i like that just to add a little bit more depth let's take some oak fences let's go one two three one two three and that looks really good that looks really really good now to take this area and make it look a little bit more interesting we're going to go stair there in the middle there we'll take a slab a slab and slabs on either side there and we can go ahead and throw in just make them go the same direction as all of our other ones have gone we'll throw them in that way just like that next we need to put in our porch one two three high one whoops one two three high just like this and then what we're going to do is we're going to start with a base layer of these guys three let's go over two here over two here just so we don't have too sharp of a corner there and then i think what we can do is we can actually throw in uh some different like height variations on these and make them face in different directions as well so let's say let's pop out this guy right here let's make him face that way him face that way another one this way another one this way and another one this way so now we have a little bit of a it's not so i guess patterny and it's a little bit more random and then what we can do is we can take i don't know this guy oops down here this guy knock that out this guy knock that out this guy knock that one out don't want it to look like a pattern again so let's go all the way down to the edge here put one right there now we have some height variation that looks good it makes it look not so clean which is what we want we don't want it to look clean and sterile 
and then we need some we need some doors so let's go let's just grab i think oak doors will look perfect here so we'll grab oak doors and a good little tip do not place the doors from the outside because again that makes the front of your house so the back of your house look flat place it from the inside that way that and that see that when we take a look through this thing if i can get through the door I go through the door you see it closes on the inside now and that looks a lot better it gives us even more depth than what we already had we're gonna come back to the front here I actually I want to change things out just a little bit further we're gonna we're gonna take these out right here and then we're gonna actually let me grab one of those we're gonna bring all this out one more because I got a plan to give us further depth up here so bear with me go ahead and just take the outline blocks that you need here so Let's go there, there. Bring all these, whoops, bring all these guys out again, like this. That, 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 and yeah, this, this. So you got all those, and let's go ahead and take these back pieces out, those extra pieces that we put in to round things off let's take those out let's only put them in the front like this yes like that just like there just like that and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna give ourselves we're gonna give ourselves a window here which I'll grab the glass in just a moment oak slabs go slab 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 just like that then Let's go ahead and grab, I don't have it on me, grab the spruce trap door. Let's actually, let's line some spruce trap doors up here like this. But again, this will give us some a little bit more depth and a little bit more color when we're looking at this thing from different angles. Here. I think that looks good. Actually, this little lip right here, let's lower that by one. Let's knock that down. Yeah, I think that looks better. And then what we can do is we can take our spruce trap door, throw that there, that there. We got ourselves a neat little look there. Let's grab our glass. Let's throw the glass in. How about instead of these ones in the middle, Grab our shutters that we've been using. Just throw those up in the front, just like this. And then last but not least, let's go ahead and let's grab one's a stair. That one's a stair. Let's do this little number up here again where we do slab, stair, slab, slab. Now our proportions here are mixed up a little bit, so we just need to go ahead and place those. That one's fine. And yes, our front looks a lot more interesting now. We have a lot more detail and depth to it. We could even go as far as throwing in a slab here and a slab here. Again, just adding a little bit more layering to this thing than what we had before. And I think for the most part, the outside of the structure itself is done. Minus a couple little decorations and we're missing something up here too. So some final detail pieces on the outside. Let's do a couple of chains right here and a lantern like that. Throw in some white flowers I think go good here in the flower pots, although choose whatever it is that you like, to be honest. We'll do maybe a single chain on this one. Like that. We have some flower pots over here. Throw in our chain here. Well. I feel like we could probably do with a couple lanterns on the outside there as well just to kind of finalize a couple little touches to decorate this thing make it look a little bit better out here now we need to throw in our floor and our overall structure on the interior now we need to get a little bit of detail in on the roofing here so what we're going to do is we're going to take some stone stairs andesite stairs stone and andesite and we're just going to kind of mix it in like in just random areas you guys can put it wherever you want to this part's not like a block by block but what we'll do is we'll just like pick some random areas here and then start to just get a little bit of a texture to this thing and make it not look so 
flat and so boring. Uh, we'll also go through and mix in some solid blocks as well, just to give a little bit of like height variation as well. Uh, just to kind of, I guess, you know, we're just trying to break things up a little bit. We don't want everything to look so plain. Uh, we want things to look exciting. We want something to catch the eye and the roof is part of that. We definitely want the roof to catch the eye. So doing something like that, you could do it just a little bit. You could do it a lot. Uh, the like amount of this detailing is kind of up to you and what you think looks good. But I think that looks good right there. So I'm going to go through and I'm just going to kind of mix that in on the other portions of the roof. Just do a little bit of the same thing. Yes, there we go. This looks a whole lot better. The detailing in the roof really changes it up quite a bit. And just in case you're wondering why you're seeing extra bits in here, did I go through and accidentally forget to do this part of the video? Yes, I did. Did I record it after the fact and insert it, insert it in the middle of the video? Yes, I did. Yep, I'm a noob. Now it is time to tackle the interior and we're going to start with the floor. Uh, we're going to do the floor a, we don't, we're going to do a little bit of a pattern, nothing too crazy, just to make it interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to come two blocks down and this top one's going to be two blocks over, two blocks down, two blocks over. And we're going to repeat this pattern all the way through the floor, two blocks, two blocks, as you can see. And then also it gets a little tricky as you get to like some of these corners to figure out where it is that you need to go. Um, so you see here that we got the two blocks down. So we know we'd have over we got the two blocks down there. We know that this would go over like this. We got the right. Yeah. And then we would have two, two, two down, down, down. Just like this. You see, it's almost like a kind of weavy type of pattern. I guess the way it goes through uh, looks pretty good. We're going to continue that across the whole floor. Now that we have our woven pattern on our floor in, we're going to go ahead and let's bring, whoop, not that guy. Uh, let's bring some oak logs across here, just like this across here. I guess that doesn't really matter which way that face across here like this and across there like that, just to get us that oak look. We're going to bring one across here to divide up the room there. And we're going to bring one right across the middle here just to give us a little bit of depth and make things look a little bit better right there as well. Um, we need to get some uh, spruce stairs because that's going to be mostly what our ceiling's made of. Bring our stair down there just like that. And then uh, we're just going to fill in this whole top area right here with spruce stairs. Once you get your stairs in over there, let's go ahead and let's fill in a border here with the uh, whatever building block you use, the white terracotta, or if you used birch, either way. Now we're gonna close ourselves off in here a little bit. So we're gonna cut off right here across the center. We're gonna go with oak logs again. We're gonna go across right here as well, just right there like that. And we will also bring a beam across the middle. Yeah, I think right here is good. Right there and right there. And I said we were going to use spruce slabs for the ceiling. We're going to put top slabs across here. Oops, missed. It's like that. It's like this. Fill in the whole ceiling area with the spruce slabs. Just like that. And that gets us a nice closed off area. And just to get some depth on the inside too, we're going to do this as well. And I think that gives us just a little bit of depth, a little bit of difference in texture around here, which will do us some good. Now I'm throwing up some temporary torches here. Uh, we're going to add in a fireplace really quick. What we're going to do is we're going to put in uh, stone or what are these uh, brick walls. And then before we go up and close all this in, you're going to want to go ahead and pop a hole right up here. So we're going to put a fireplace right up there. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and let's fill this in right down like that. And then actually a cool little trick that you can do is you can throw in solid blocks doesn't have to be brick it could be whichever block you prefer because when we go in a brick wall right there you see it gives us a little bit of like an indent in the wall it's a really nice look i like it a lot and uh, i think it'll look good in your houses that you build go ahead and let's grab this guy right here let's put him just like that and i guess we'll close this one off too and we put that in here look put a campfire right there and we could even replace these blocks back here with brick just to continue that brick look and this whoops this one 
this one that there put that back down there we got ourselves a nice looking little fireplace here uh, let's go ahead and continue that up to the roof we're up at the hole in the roof now this is going to be a pretty simple fireplace we're just going to bring it straight up and then from the roof we'll go up one two three and four and let's go up a temporary fifth block close this guy in with these spruce trap doors knock out that dude in the middle right there throw in a campfire there and then i like the idea of taking an iron trap door and putting it right on top there just to kind of cap it off it looks like it's a smokestack of some sort in a home it looks really good uh, we got ourselves a chimney now uh, let's go and finish up the upstairs room and to finish off our upstairs area let's go ahead and let's take our white terracotta we'll bring that around just like this to close oops, close all of this off and then we can take our brick and that down run that down just to make it look like our fireplace is continuing upwards white terracotta white terracotta that part i think looks really good go trap door right here and then let's go ahead and hop down we'll throw in a little ladder right here just as an easy way to get up and down so you can see you can go up and then close that off if you want to uh, we have a nice looking little room right here we could throw in if we want to uh, kind of keep that similar look let's go ahead and throw in our ceiling block that we use downstairs just to kind of keep everything nice and similar looking from the outside and the inside that in with white terracotta and then there we go i can put this block in and everywhere that we can't fit the trap door or the stairs we'll go ahead and we'll put in slabs boom and now we have a nice closed in room here that looks good now what i'm not going to do in this video is i'm not going to show you how to do any further of the interior because i I believe that you guys might want to make it look functional and to be honest I'm not really that great at interiors we got a basic design in here but now you guys can go in if you're really good at decorating interiors go ahead and go to town if you want it to be more functional throw in some furnaces some beds some chests and whatever other little things you may need but the interior of this guy is now all done well, as you guys can see here, I've done a little bit of work after we finished the build and I have done some landscaping, everything from some nice pathwork out here in the front that adds in quite a bit of detail to make it look like this pathing is being used. A little bit of bone meal for the grass. There's a nice garden out here that's got some wheat and potatoes. That way we can have a food source for ourselves. Of course, you guys can put whatever crops in there that you like. We added in a little bit of detailing here as well, just to make it look like, again, it is a used area. A little pathing in the back. We got bushes that are around growing up the house, making it look like, again, it's lived in and maybe it's being decorated. The, the, the homeowner here, I guess that's me, wants these bushes here, right? So they look really good. A beautiful little planter area here off to the side of the house with a little rose garden uh, by some lattice and probably my favorite part is the fish pond here it's it's small it's simple but it is amazing if you ever need a good place to come out sit down and take a little relax and just kind of take a load off this is the place to do it and yeah this this is it guys this looked really good i think i hope you liked it just as much as i did because i would like to make more of these but i need your feedback Drop me a comment down below. Let me know if you like this kind of video. Let me know if you like to see more of them. Let me know what it is you like to see. Do you want to keep two starter houses for a while? Do we want to make other, other uh, guest structures and that kind of stuff? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what you guys think. Also, if you like the video, drop me a like. Leave me a, uh, leave me a subscription. Drop a, Click the subscription button down there. Yeah, that thing that's down there somewhere. Click that down below. And you guys have a good one. I'll see you later. Goodbye.